Hey everyone, Mike Siebert here. As you can likely tell, I'm coming to you from my home just outside of Seattle, Washington, and I'm here with some really exciting news to share. I'm proud to announce that Connecting Heroes, our breakthrough initiative for first responders, is now live nationwide. As a reminder, Connecting Heroes is the name for T-Mobile's unprecedented 10-year commitment to provide completely free mobile service to every single first responder in this country who works at public and nonprofit, state and local police, fire, and EMT services, so they can have the critical technology they need to keep us safe. That means that starting today, Every single first responder agency across the country can sign up for that free wireless service with unlimited talk, text, and smartphone data, including free 5G access, for all of their first responder employees. And I really hope they do, because if every agency across this country signs up, that'll put about $7.7 .7 billion back into their budgets over the next 10 years, which is exactly what Connecting Heroes is all about. Because today, our first responder agencies face budget shortfalls year after year after year. The last time anybody did a comprehensive study, they found that first responders face up to a hundred billion dollar budget shortfall. And that's likely getting worse in today's climate, which can impact first responders. Many agencies are forced to make trade-offs between life-saving equipment, such as personal protective equipment, and important communication services like wireless that they depend on to do their jobs. And that's just not right. That's an example of a choice that they shouldn't ever have to make, and certainly not now in the midst of a global pandemic. So T-Mobile is doing something about it. With Connecting Heroes, first responder agencies can save billions over the next 10 years, billions that they can now put towards equipment and training, extra pay and more support for these heroes. This is not some temporary promotion. And it's not just for the duration of the COVID crisis. This is our commitment for the next decade. Free service for every state and local nonprofit and public first responder agency on us. No strings attached. This is an example of what we meant when we said that we had plans to use 5G for good last fall. For the last two years, we worked to win approval for the T-Mobile Sprint merger and combine our businesses, and we made some important commitments to consumers along the way. Commitments about our network and about our plans to put all this new capacity to work. Now, there have been some skeptics along the way, people who said we wouldn't deliver, that we would never follow through, but they were wrong. I understand their initial concerns. Some companies don't fulfill on their commitments, like AT&T, for example. They said they wouldn't raise prices after buying Time Warner, and it took them about a matter of days to break that promise. A young carrier is just different. And that's why I'm so proud of today's news, and so proud to share the incredible work this company's doing to show the world time and time again that at T-Mobile, when we make a commitment, we make it happen. We said we'd launch T-Mobile Connect, our lowest price smartphone plan ever, to help people on the tightest budgets. We not only did that, we did it early because we saw that people needed it now more than ever before. A move that already forced AT&T to introduce their own lower cost plans, which means prices for wireless customers across the industry are going down, once again, because of T-Mobile. And we said we'd create new jobs. And just in the past few days, we unveiled plans to hire 5,000 new people in the next year. And we said we'd launch Connecting Heroes, and that happens starting today. We also said we'd improve coverage for Sprint customers, and we're already doing it. We said we'd build 5G for all, and we already cover more Americans with 5G than anyone. In fact, our 5G network is eight times bigger than AT&T's, and get this, 28,000 times bigger than Verizon's. Earlier this month, we lit up 5G in San Francisco, and today, we're live in Sacramento with new sites lighting up across Tampa and Orlando, too. In a few years, we'll have 14 times the capacity of T-Mobile standalone, and we'll cover 99% of Americans with blazing fast 5G. The reality is that connecting heroes is possible because of all of that capacity, the incredible 5G network that'll be unleashed from our merger with Sprint. When we were planning this on Carrier Move, we sat down and took a good look at the state of this industry and how wireless companies have treated first responders. And we didn't like what we saw. 
Verizon spends millions of dollars marketing their service to first responders with Super Bowl ads and hashtags and social campaigns. And you know, AT&T's no better. It just didn't sit right with us, especially when these agencies face enormous budget pressures and they need wireless to be most effective in their jobs. These brave men and women are putting their lives on the line for us day in and day out. And they're being treated like just another group to be segmented and marketed to and monetized. These are people who deserve our best and the carriers are just not getting it. So enough's enough. We're not going to sell to our nation's first responders. We're going to serve them for free. T-Mobile's solving another wireless industry pain point and for some of the most deserving people among us. Now, we all know the world's changed since we announced Connecting Heroes last November and we're living in some pretty unusual times. So many people have been asked to step up and support our country. So I want to say thank you to all of the essential workers across our country right now who are helping us get through this crisis. The teachers, medical workers, food workers, cleaners, drivers, and of course T-Mobile's own employees who are connecting us all. These people are doing incredible things every day and I just want to say thank you to everyone out there who's doing your part by drastically changing the way you work, the way you live, to help us navigate through these trying times. So we're going to say thank you the uncarrier way. I'm announcing today, in appreciation of all those keeping our country going, that the awesome new iPhone SE is on us for free this Memorial Day weekend. All the details are on T-Mobile.com. So on behalf of everyone at T-Mobile, to all the workers out there on the job, to all the parents staying home, and to everybody else all across the country doing your part, thank you. And today in particular, we're celebrating our nation's first responders. And I want all of you to know we're with you. Thanks, everybody.